HMB. And the Department of Interpretations here, we have the Office for International Students, the English Language Institute, which is for international students. Sometimes they're not yet able to read and write English. So in the ELI, the English Language Institute, they're given up to three years, or one to three years time period where they, you know, they prepare them to take the academic or the um, admissions test. They cannot come in and be matriculated as a um, Gallaudet student until they pass this. They could take non-credit courses and so forth. It's all based on the individual, individual needs. And once they do pass these certain tests that are given by the ELI program, they can be en enrolled as a regular undergraduate student here. The highest international number Oh, because we're the only um, liberal arts college for the deaf, we have the highest percentage of international students here at, here at Gallaudet. And that's because, you know, that's, they think that's the reasoning why we have more international students here than other universities. I know that a lot of rumors that Gallaudet is facing a redu reduction in enrollment. But if you look at the other side of the coin, that gives them more opportunities because now they're able to go to other universities with the use of interpreting services and so forth, and other deaf studies programs within other universities. So there's other options available for them. So that is one of the reasons for the reduction in 